guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius and you're on your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay so today the prayer says i readily run into you and listen dear lord for i yearn to hear about all the your unsearchable things i have so many questions you have so much you want to tell me teach me how to hear you above the noise of this room in Jesus name amen amen okay so let's see what's going on spirit guides of the night ancestors to the masters my angel prayer light please protect his death from any negative energies he's able to receive two concise messages for the zodiac sign of aquarius So let's see what's going on for okay these cards be making my hands ashy as hell okay let's see so we have the four pinnacles here okay you could be connected to any sign we have here the sun Okay, so I'm seeing here that, of course, you could be holding on to your money. You could be saving more. Okay, and it's like you have noticed, like, a big change since you have been saving your money and not splurging on, like, unnecessary things, right? And it's like, I feel like you're you're feeling more happy and you're so proud of yourself that you learned that self-discipline. Okay, because it was very hard for you. Mm-hmm. Because I'm seeing here somebody who could like to shop, you know? And we have here the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Swords here. Hmm. So, I'm seeing here that somebody that cheated you very bad in the past, okay, they cheated on you, they was manipulating you, they was skimming behind your back, this person had hidden agendas here. Okay, this person is still holding on to you. Yeah, this person literally broke your heart. Like, caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. The high priestess here. You could be getting terror readings done on this person or this person is getting terror readings done on you. Because they're trying to become enlightened. They're trying to see what you have been doing with your life. Because you guys haven't been talking. Okay. I'm seeing this person could be dreaming of you. You could be dreaming of this person. Yeah, this person was a narcissist here. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, you guys haven't been in yet in communication. Okay, this person is thinking about coming in towards you with some type of communication. Okay, or pulling up to where you stay. Okay, they miss your energy. They really do. And I'm seeing the magician. They're trying to figure out something and you know, how to come in towards you the correct way. Like something that you can't like deny or reject. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. This person, okay, they could be getting a divorce. The Ten of Cups in reverse. They're breaking some type of family dynamic here. So coming towards you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is reflecting on this offer that they're going to be giving to you. Okay, and the Six of Swords here. They feel like you moved on already, like, you know, but they're still going to try to come in. This person probably don't have a lot of finances as well. That's why they could be holding on to their money that they're getting because they don't have a lot. They want to, like, give you the world. They want to travel with you. They basically want to redeem themselves. We have the Devil card here, but this person is, like, literally, like, obsessed with you. Okay, they feel like you're theirs. Okay. This person is trying to figure out how they can like regain control of the situation. We have the full card here. So let's see. Clarify the devil. We have the eight of cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles to clarify the devil. Yeah, so this person's walk away from this devil energy here. Somebody here that was codependent on them. Okay, they had bad habits. Toxic here. Somebody here love like toxic 
relationships or just toxic behavior okay but they'll walk away from that okay any addictions that they have okay and they're they want to put some sleep with you they want to start fresh with you okay so that's good i'm seeing this energy but you know it's up to you if you want to take them back okay we have the hierophant here yeah i'm seeing this person wants to be in like in a long committed relationship with you like they want to marry you they want to do the whole thing like this person could be very traditional okay we have here the tower okay so something happened here in their relationship that they was in okay it was a big change that happened there and we have the four of cups here okay i feel like they were just bored and discontent in that connection and it's like they remove themselves they start looking at their traditions and beliefs about love okay this person has been doing a lot of reflection here okay a lot of healing here okay releasing any hardships okay now they're missing you they feel like they had a missed opportunity with you okay because they walked away from you they rejected you to stay in some type of situation here that was always going to end and we have the eight of cups okay We have here the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So yeah, this person wants to invest in this connection with you. They want to give it everything that they have. Okay, this person wants structure. Okay, this person has become very like intelligent and smarter and wise over the lessons that they learned. Okay, this person has been open to change. And it's like they want to come in and talk to you. And we have the Queen of Swords here. That's why you're going to talk to this person as well. You're going to let this person know how you feel. Okay. And you're going to know if this person is lying to you. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be like a very truthful, honest communication with you guys. Like nothing's going to be left out. Okay. You're going to get some clarity about why this person did some of the things that they did when they were dealing with you. Yeah, so I think this person is ready to be opened and honest. We have the two of wands here. I feel like you're not going to make a decision right then and there because this person is going to ask you, like, you know, can you guys start by talking, work on things? But it's like you're going to be, like, uncertain about what you should do. The two of wands. Okay, we have the two of cups here and we have the two of swords. So you could be seeing two, two, two. It's very important to look that up if this message is resonating with you. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be confused. You're going to be like, you don't know what you should do. You probably could have somebody else that's trying to get your attention as, as well with the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. So it's like now this person's at a Two of Swords. Now you at a Two of Swords. Some of you guys are already being at a new connection and you're just like, oh God, like what should I do? Like it's going to be hard for you to like make that decision. Okay. I feel like Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Hermit. Yeah, you're going to have to do some reflection before you make a, a firm decision here. Okay, some of you guys are going to tell this person, like, you don't want to be in a relationship right now. Okay, some of you guys, you could be women. I'm seeing here women. Okay, you don't want to just be dealing with one man. Okay, and this person is going to be shocked, like, oh, what? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Give me another card for the Wheel of Fortune. That's possible for women as well. Okay, I don't know why men feel like they're the only people that can, like, do that. Okay, we have here the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be reflecting. You're going to be wanting to stay single with the Nine of Pentacles here. Like, you're just focusing on your wealth right now, your blessings. You're enjoying them. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You have a lot of abundance coming in. Okay, a lot of good things happening for you. you just like, you don't want to be like dealing with nobody. Yeah, you're just focused on your business right now. Eight of Pentacles, your abundance. Okay. Yeah, and we have the strength card and the five of pentacles. So, yeah, it's like you like being by yourself. Like, if you feel like it just 
better that way. Okay, and you just thinking about how it took you a lot of strength to get out of a situation where you didn't have a lot of finances, okay? And you had to heal yourself, okay? And it's like you do not want to go back to that feeling or that situation. Like you're doing extremely well right now. I mean, the Nine of Swords here, this person, I feel like you're going to leave them out in the cold. Yeah, they're going to be like thinking about this for the rest of their life, okay? Upset with themselves. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because it's like you're not going to want to deal with them. Okay, because they put you apart from a third party situation. Yeah, and they chose somebody here that was materialistic. And they thought that something was going to work out with this person. But this person ended up taking all that they had. Literally. Nine of Wands here. Now they feel like a wounded warrior. But I feel like they're going to return back to this person. Illumination. Yeah, they're going to probably return back to this person, okay? And feed their ego. There's something dealing with here in the public where they care about what other people think. Okay? And this get them some type of pleasure, you know, by looking like the king, you know, I guess. I feel like this person have a problem with like downgrading women. Like this person sees women as objects. And like, you know, what can I get out of you? You know? But yeah, this person gonna be thinking about you because it's like you are there with your feeling, but it's like you're not gonna want to be bothered with this person. Like you're done. Extremely done with this person. And this person gonna go back to these addictions here where they overindulge. Okay, let's see. Tell me about this connection, spirit guides, and love and light. Princesses to the masters, my angels of the power and light. So we have here abundance. You've done the work, abundance flows to you now. We have past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. We have rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Yeah, so this person rejected you. This is a past life love. You remember this intense connection, but y'all see a lot of abundance happening towards you right now. We have integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Yeah, so I also feel like this person is going to try to come back towards you and try to persuade you to like be in a relationship with them while they're dealing with somebody else, like polyamorous or something like that. And you, you don't want that. You don't have to be okay with that because you love somebody, okay? Whatever you don't like or fuck with, you shouldn't do that because of the love that you have for somebody. Like, if that's not how you rock in, don't do that. Okay, it should be like a, a, a compromise, okay? So, let's get some messages, some truth messages that this person wants to tell. I pray it's spirit guides in the night. Princess the same masters, my angel of my light. Threatened by your hustle. Yeah, your hustle is on like hundred right now and this person is threatened by that like you don't want to buy you around you're just threatened by your hustle like get the fuck out of my face right we have here up all night thinking about you this person could be used to like lovers as like jealous of their career or something like that acting like they they have people the whole time they want this person's spot you know Did I just say that? Three-way love affair. This person wants you to, you know, do something here where you, they're dealing with other people. We have coming back for you. It's real. I made you feel worthless, but the truth is you were too good for me. Yeah, you're too good for this person. I'll chase you if I have to. We have no one could have you but me. Yeah, it's like... They, they want you to themselves, but you can have them to themselves. Like, I know you're my soulmate.
I'm so tired of these cards falling on the floor. Somebody here could like the same sex. So you don't know that this person like the same sex. They're bi. Okay, can't get you out of my head. Wishing on a star. I don't know what they're wishing on. One day you're going to be my wife or husband. Yeah, they're wishing that. And I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. So, and they want you to reach out to them. Okay, be careful. This person can have an STD burning, ancient leaking. Definitely if they don't wear sexual protection. And they like to go out and do stuff for other people. So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.